I'm Chris, and uh, this is Garrett, and uh, we're the Atomic Bitch Wax. We're out on the road right now with the Weed Eater, Goddamn Gallows, and Worshipper. We're gonna take you on a tour of this beautiful Chevy van that we're riding in and touring in. And let's hop in. This is Bob, this is the drummer of the Time of Bitch Wax. What's happening? Driver, uh, tour manager. Uh, Pain in the goddamn ass. <laughs> the goddamn ass. <laughs> well, me and, me and uh, Garrett share the driving. Chris, uh, they don't let me drive. They don't let, we don't <laughs> let him drive. The rules. Those are the rules, that's about it. Those are the rules, and no talking while I'm driving. <laughs> it's him. He's the entertainment. I just put my phone on and I just put on whatever. I put on uh, Spotify, so we'll do a lot of R&B. We'll do podcasts. We'll put on uh, jerky one-hit wonders. Bob likes Kansas, so we put Kansas on for A lot him. of Kansas. <laughs> and uh, that's just it. We just put on what we feel like we want to listen to. You know, that's it, just to get us to the next destination. Right here is our, one of our many merch bins. Well, that's the overflow. So this is the overflow. So we bring a certain amount inside, and then when we run low, we come back out here to restock. Which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> well, the baby wipes is for the coronavirus. Yeah, we just wipe, we wipe things down. Yeah. Because there's a lot of sneezing and coughing. And yeah. And you shake a lot of hands throughout the night. A lot of hands. Show. Yeah. And the coffee is, uh, you know, that's our poor man's speed. <laughs> to keep us awake, of course. Yeah. Endless amounts of coffee. Um, all three of us smoke, so it's really nice in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we all smoke cigarettes. So. Yeah. We don't even roll down the windows. A lot of cigarettes. We don't roll down windows down either. Not no. We keep the windows down, keep it nice. It's just uh, real lean and mean, just three guys in a van. We don't have a trailer. We, we put all the gear in the back of the van. We're techs. And, uh, yeah, we're, we do everything. We do our own merch, and, uh, and uh, it's you know it's load just in, it's just out. nice and easy because you know there's less uh, less people to deal with, and you know. Well, sometimes it's not nice and easy. We would like to have people load in yeah. for us, but unfortunately, we don't. So it's not in the budget. No, it's, it's not, not in the budget. budget. <laughs> so we drive, do merch, load in, take care of our equipment, etc. We share one hotel room. There's the blow-up mattress behind yeah. Gary. Yeah. Right here. There you go. Blow it up. We get a, uh, you know, three guys, one room, two beds, of course, and the blow-up mattress. Sometimes right. two beds. Sometimes three, Sometimes if we're lucky. Three. Sometimes one. Sometimes one. <laughs> no, 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 we haven't figured it out, and uh, <laughs> I think you need DVDs anyway, and I don't know if they make those anymore. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think they're stuck. Nah, no time. It would only be Chris uh, watching the movies anyway, so. <laughs> and he has his phone. So. We're starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> That's Bob's carpet for his drums for when we're playing on a, either a concrete or a wooden stage to keep his drums stable. Yep. This is my 4x12 cabinet case for my Marshall. This is Bob's cymbals case here, beautiful cymbal case here. And there's a few of his uh, extra, drum, extra drum cases. They're empty right now. They're in the club. Everything's waiting to be set up. So. And that's about it. And we do pack it a lot neater than it is now. So. Usually, I but think not today. So. No. Somehow it always changes a little bit every every load and every pack in every night. So. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a Tetris, but it takes like three or four shows to really master it. But once you got it, then no one else is allowed to pack it because it screws it all up. So. It's usually, Chris, what do you want next? Yeah. Chris, what do you want next? We'll What's get, next? The, the three, we'll get like the big stuff out here, and then I'll jump up in there, and then they'll just start handing me stuff, and I know which way it goes. You know, so, but well, it works. It was weird because last night I jumped up in there, and uh, it worked. It got all crazy. <laughs> nah. Now nah. <laughs> nah, we have a system worked out, so it works for us. You know. We gave up on our guitar stands. We don't use them anymore because there's no time. We just throw and go, set up, line check, and go. You know what's really good about this van, though, is other vans that we've rented, where this trailer hitch is, a lot of times it sticks out this far, and you know we call it the the, you know, the knee buster. But we got we locked out, and this one was recessed, so it's actually really nice and easy to step up in there. We got a new record coming out um, on uh, May 29th, and then we're uh, playing a festival in uh, where is it? It's a monolith on the Mesa in Taos, New Mexico. And then, uh, then after that, then we're going to uh, we're going to Europe for I think almost five weeks from uh, the middle of June to the middle of July. 
And then after that, uh, then we're playing uh, uh, New York uh, Desert Fest in September. And then after that, we're going to go to Australia and possibly Japan in October. And that's pretty much our year right, as of now. But the virus is kind of messing things up here and there. So you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm.